Okay, in this tutorial, we're gonna go over section breaks and how to create separate pages in your CARD website. So just as a refresher, CARD is a one page website. And so when you load, uh, the web, when the web site loads, it's loading everything, but it's only showing you different sections. So those act as different pages. So that's the reason actually why when you go to a, web, to a CARD website, the reason there's absolutely no loading time, so you can go to these very quickly and there's no loading time is because all of this has been loaded and it's just in different sections. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you um, how to get that set up and how you can do it on your own. So let's say just for an example that we wanted our home page right now, our home page is showing all of this. Let's say that we wanted just to show the title, uh, the title to this image. And let's say this customizable cards, we wanted this to be its own page. So the way we would do that is you can hit this plus sign and you can hit control. We're gonna drag that down to where we want it. So this is where we want the page to start. We're gonna call this page um, cards, okay? Now, um, if we just want it to just be these elements here, just the customizable cards and these, and we don't wanna show this information either, then we're gonna to need to put another one of these controls there. So let's put a control beneath it, right there. And so now what we've done is we've created two separate pages. We have our home page here, we've got our card page, and then we'll have this se separate page here. So this will be page two now. Okay, so we need some way to navigate to that. So on the CTA, just for the example, we're gonna put this to cards. Did I say cards or card? Cards, it's already been done. Okay, so just to show you how this works, we're gonna save this. Can view the demo. And now this is just one page. It's, it's got where we cut off, it's showing your, your footer your header and the section. Now we wanted to go to cards, there's the cards. Now let's say that on this customizable cards, we didn't want the header or the footer to show. The footer is this, and I've also included this for people that are running a membership site. Um, you'll know what this is for. But let's say that we didn't want to show, we didn't want that to show up. All we would need to do is go to that section. So between cards, we don't want to show Let's say we don't want to show the header or the footer. We want to keep the header, but let's hide the footer. So everything's the same here. If we go to our cards, there's your cards. It does not have the footer and you can do the same for the header. So that's how different pages work and how different sections work. Now, another thing to look at is, let's just say that we wanted this to be the home page, but we wanted this to be a scroll point so that when we click this button, the website automatically scrolled down to this part. We can do that by doing this, collecting or selecting the control type as a scroll point. So all we're gonna do is let's, let's name that cards. That's what our button is still, cards. So if we do that then, save that. demo. In that case, the cards are still showing up, but when we click this, it's going to scroll down to our customizable cards. So that's how controls work, and that's how you can set up separate pages on your card account or on your card website.